So you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on supplements and you will actually get sicker. And the reason you get sicker is your digestive organs are already tired. They're already exhausted. If you have a no made says, I thought you were denying supplements. No, I'm generally against people spending tons of money on supplements. Look, I know when I was sick with digestive illness, I hated trying all these things. I hated that I, I tried this, I tried that. Most of you are like that too, if you're honest. And you don't like running from one so-called solution to another. One of the things that I'm doing for you in this is don't spend any money on supplements most of which are crap and will make you sicker um, until you understand the pivot protocol. You don't need that stuff. Now, I give you three specific things that you can use that are really pretty helpful. They're very inexpensive. I don't make any money on them. I give you my advice when and how to take them and what specific symptoms they treat. What specific mechanism are we trying to fix that will get rid of one specific problem in the body? That's a useful supplement. People take all kinds of weird, right, supplements and like, oh, I drink aloe juice and I eat, you know, ginger, or I take liquor, you know, licorice chewables or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, but you don't need any of that stuff. And my suspicion is that if you're watching this, like most people, your budget also matters. You can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on supplements and you will actually get sicker. And the reason you get sicker is your digestive organs are already tired. They're already exhausted. If you have a digestive illness, part of what's happening is your spleen is overwhelmed and your liver is too hot by a long shot. So when you take lots of supplements, you're creating more work for the spleen and your liver is getting hotter. Well, that's the exact opposite of what we're trying to do here. So stay away from supplements. I recently added um, some important material on seven supplements that are killing you. I forget the exact title, but if you log out of your, if you've been a member for a while, log out of your members area and log back in and you'll see this new report that I've put in there. It's actually a video where I'm walking you through seven supplements that you absolutely should not have. If you have acid reflux, IBS, any kind of digestive illness at all, stay away from these things. You don't need them. It's a lie, right? Anybody who's telling you like, oh, take this supplement, take that supplement. It's, that's all marketing, Okay. The reason, part of the reason, you know, I'm telling you the truth is I don't make any money telling you this. I just, I have this information. I've been through the supplement thing. Uh, I, I understand how to prescribe and mix herbs at a really, really high level. I taught classes on how to make herbal formulas uh, back in the day. Um, and so take my word for it. Most of the stuff that you're taking for supplements, especially for digestive illness is garbage. And it's also, it's probably making you sicker. Certainly, at, at a bare minimum, it's going to be very expensive urine. There's no reason for them. The only three that I recommend are for three specific situations that you need to understand. If you take these supplements, it will make your digestion stronger immediately. And you will recover faster if you know about these three. Otherwise, I don't recommend a lot of supplements. And, and by the way, all three of these supplements cost about roughly $50 for a six-month supply. $50, six months. So whatever that works out to, it's less than 10 bucks a month. Okay. Um, if you're serious about getting well, these things may help you. But again, you don't need to spend a lot of money on supplements. Don't do it. Save your money and recover faster by skipping all that stuff. So no, I'm not against supplements. I'm against wasting money on stuff that makes you sicker. You should be too.